welcome welcome guys today i'm deciding to do the dream address tour of my first island honeyville i'm pretty excited to be able to show you guys this i spent a lot of hours in it obviously at this point in the game who hasn't spent a lot of hours into their island and building it all up from the ground up if not tearing it all down first this island is a little bit more of a cottage core theme. It does have a lot of the mush DIYs lying around, lots of art and whatnot from reds. Um, I do love the fact that my island is still very much open. I did not like to completely overcut clutter like most people do with cottage core. Um, I do not like getting lost on other people's islands whenever I do dream address tours so I kind of figured that I would keep most of this a little open um just for that fact like as you can see we are going to be starting down at my entrance area um it's flat it's not completely overly done and please 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 don't get me wrong if you do like the complete like wow factor of the huge entrances that have multiple tiers of land and terraforming and crazy waterfalls that's great like great for you because i just my creativity really has a certain cap <laughs> i um I don't know, I didn't want to overly do it just because the whole lagging issue that this game does have whenever you do overdo it. So as you can see, it is flat. I do love putting a lot of designs on the ground to just kind of give it that more pizzazz, I guess, for lack of better terms. Um, so we're probably going to start off by going over to the left and seeing the cliff over here I guess you could call it um I just like to call them different tiers throughout the island these don't really have like much of a um meaning I guess they're just mainly for decoration they're not useful I do like to clutter those uh since you don't really climb up onto them just for decoration um over here there's just a little picnic area up here we go towards my house I put it on its own little island um, I'm not going to really show the inside of my house. I'm not very uh, good with the interior decorating in this island, so I just kind of threw a bunch of things together and hoped it looked good, but if you do want to search my dream address, go ahead, go for it. So you can see around my resident services, I laid a lot of patterns because I felt like it was just too open, so I needed something to like really capture the effect of resident services and how important it is to the island. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of highly decorated beaches. I do like to do like something that makes sense on the beach, not something that's like, why is this here on a beach kind of thing. So here's Bones. He's definitely one of my dreamies. I do have all 10 of my dreamies. Um, I definitely don't plan on trading anybody out anytime soon. So you can see here, this is my little outdoor library area. I love this place. If you follow me on Instagram, you see that I take a lot of pictures there. I love it, especially that waterfall. One thing I do hate is how loud the waterfalls can be. So I'm sorry if the background is just a little loud because of that. So I had to have bamboo on the island, of course. Keep that little silhouette of the pagoda back there. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Um, but it didn't really go with my decor, so I decided to make its own little island. As you can see, there is definitely a lot of mushroom DIYs just lying all around. I just love them. My absolute favorite set, along with the ironwood set. Just too cute. I'm basically just walking around, showing, like, the, the different tiers and whatnot. Up here is my museum area. Um, definitely more mushrooms, of course. You can see a lot of these designs on the ground. Um, I thought these fossils are just too cute not to use on the outside here. I guess I shouldn't say cute. I mean, they are just dead creatures' bones. Um, <laughs> so I think they're really cool. Like, the details in this kind of stuff is just, look at that. So cool not to use. Definitely goes along with the museum, obviously. We give everything to Blathers. So coming back down here, we are back to resident services. Um, just a bunch of little flowers to keep 
around the little cliff sides decorated that way it's not too empty looking but here's another beach just a cute little area to sit and watch the waves or the sunrise if you couldn't tell i did make this setting in the morning very early morning around 5 30 a.m i just love the colors and the music it just all goes so well together so calming um i'm just going to show you a little bit more of my beach areas this is my sea turtle area i love these little guys the little diy for the turtle cushions are just adorable um, here's my little lighthouse area with a little lounge. I love that bamboo DIY. That's definitely another one of my favorites. But this is my all-time favorite part of my island is my farm area. Definitely a lot of time put into this. This is my little watermelons. Um, of course, a little garden faucet. Love that we can turn the water on and off. How cool is that? The scarecrow and whatnot. It's my favorite part of this area. The bumblebees and the lavender i just love it purple definitely pops out here for sure of course everybody has to have an orchard duh it wouldn't be animal crossing new horizons without it right <laughs> so here's more of the, just the garden area definitely great views i love the color of the sky also gives you a little preview of my what i like to call enchanted forest um i'm gonna go over here just to kind of give you a little preview of how it's decorated kind of hard to see obviously through all of the trees but that is coming up next we're gonna go up here just a little fishing area and oh my goodness little kids tents how awesome are these from toy day oh my goodness it couldn't have gotten any better we had so much stuff that day such great stuff but we'll come back down through here go through the enchanted forest i did use the artisanal uh bug cage such a unique piece definitely a good rustic look to it the phone box and the matching kids tent because of course why not use them so i'm gonna come up here i do have all of my villagers in a row in two different tiers so there's five on top and five on the bottom here is my map we have all of my absolute favorite villagers um i probably should have shown this map first huh so here's sylvana we also have Gabby, we have Molly, and Olive, and Wart Jr. He is so underrated. He is my absolute darling. He came to my campsite one day and I just fell in love, so I had to have him. We have Eric, and of course we have Fauna, and Bones, as we saw earlier, Pearl, Beauty, Savannah. So these are all of just the best people, I guess I shouldn't say people, <laughs> The best animals that I could have gotten. Um, definitely never trading them. Fell in love with all of them. I'm definitely working hard to get all of their pictures. So this area, I'm not... I guess I wouldn't say I'm not proud of it, but mm, I don't necessarily like to show it off because I just feel like it's just all thrown together as a mess. I feel like every villager should really get their own little personalized area and... I feel like I kind of failed at that, so it's definitely still a work in progress, which I feel like your island should always be a work in progress. It shouldn't always necessarily be completed, because then there's just no fun left in the game. So Pearl's house is just so beautiful. I love it. I gave Wart Jr. a little special treatment here. I gave him a crescent moon chair. Such a beautiful piece in the game definitely hard to come by for sure celeste barely comes to my island i feel like unless i'm just constantly missing her um i feel like isabel never gives a heads up that there's going to be shooting stars that night but oh well i ended up getting it somehow so we're going to go down here i have these cliffs uh decorated a little differently just i love these butterfly models i definitely got some good use out of these guys um huge right like i <laughs> when flick sent me that i was just blown away with how big it was a little spa area with a garden wagon i love that piece cute little area to just lie down you know relax but can we just take a moment like why does the cypress pool thing have to have like such nasty looking water yuck so since i didn't leave gifts out for like a ladder or a vaulting pool um, I have to just run back here really quick and then I'm gonna run up past 
all my enchanted forest real quick. I don't know why. Sorry. <laughs> Lost track there. Um, so we're going to just run past these guys really quick. I want to show you where my shops are. Um, I did put them kind of far out from resident services. I did kind of try to get some use out of the other fruit trees. So here's just a little coffee area for people to enjoy. Um, very low-key decorated, not much. But of course, here's Red's area. Well, the secret beach, I guess I should say. Decorated with pirate stuff. I love it. Um, I did get this idea from Consul Cato, so shout out to her. I love the poppy field idea. I've never seen that before, so I did definitely have to put something there. I was at a loss of what to do, so I definitely took that idea and thank her so much for that. So there's my able sisters on the highest cliff. I have some gnomes guarding them. Adorable little things. And here's some more just artwork and whatnot. Um, oh, I love Nook's Cranny. It is just the cutest little thing. Olive! Hi, honey! So, and... There's all my, I don't have much colored flowers, but I definitely have yellow mums so I can make my mum cushions. Love those darlings. Um, my little DIY area. I don't like to keep running back and forth to my home if I'm out on the island kind of trying to do stuff. So I made a little area for it. So as you can see, I do have a bunch of white flowers everywhere. I just felt like trying to incorporate other colored flowers that wasn't maybe like an orange hyacinth or something. It was gonna be hard for me to do. I'm very picky when it comes to like color schemes and whatnot. I'm a very neutral, very simple person. So I felt like white flowers was the best way to go for me. But here is just another pathway with a bunch of cliffs decorated. As you can see, still loving the fossils and all the artwork and all the mushrooms. I have so many mushrooms just lying around in the most random spots. So, oh my goodness, here's my character. There she is. So, her name is Cam because my name in real life is Camera. So I just go by Cam. That's her. It's my favorite dress. I'm not sure who it's made up by. Um, I forget. I think it's in like Chinese or something. Cutest little thing. Oh, I love this area. This is my stargazing area. Um, so we're just going to go down through here. More cliffs feel like they're never ending. It took so long. Even though there's not that many, it took so long to make. So here is Eric, yay! Hi Eric. Um, this is a little wedding area. This was definitely such a fun event. I know it was very redundant for a lot of people, just doing the same thing all the time, but I had to make use of it. But can we talk about how hard and tiring and frustrating it is to make a rock garden, but so proud of it by the end of the day but here's another little picnic area on the beach um oh, i see gabby up there in the silhouette so here's just how my pier is decorated i was gonna do some like fishing stuff on it but i felt like a little relaxing area just better suited it hi gabby so we're gonna just run back over here to where my outdoor library area is just kind of show that off one more time huh um so that's basically it for my island. They're, like I said, very wide open, not too overly cluttered, but once again, huge kudos to the people that are able to just cram that much stuff everywhere. I felt like I was struggling so much with it. I guess, oh, I did forget to show a campsite area, but here we are. Great view of the moon and a little waterfall in the background, surrounded by trees. What better way to camp, huh? Oh, I love it. But this is where that bridge led to, was where my character was roaming around and whatnot. So yeah, thank you guys for joining me on this dream address tour of my first island, Honeyville. Definitely a lot of fun. Um, I will probably be using a lot of the resources from this island to help with my second island, so I'm not like, so flustered and drowning and trying to recreate all these DIYs and whatnot. I just have so much stuff in my storage now. So here we are. This is my little flag. What a great representation of my island. <laughs> I love this. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I do hope to see you again. Enjoy!